Good morning everyone. Today we're going to take a look at the K-Free non-contact infrared forehead thermometer. Very simple design. Put your forehead here and it reads your temperature. As you saw a moment ago, if your temperature is too high, it will flash red LEDs and go beep, 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 beep. The idea is you install this at the front of a office or maybe a supermarket, something like that, and people can walk past one by one having themselves scanned. Now I know what you're thinking. What about security guards that are using these? Why do you need something like this? Well, safety. This one, there's no interaction. There's no need for a security guard to get close to hundreds or thousands of people. They can just go up one by one. Security guard can stand over there around a meter, two meters, three meters away and just monitor. And if he hears it going beep, 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 he knows, hey, we need to stop that person. They might have a fever. Potentially it could be a symptom of, you know what, now, this can be mounted in various ways. Right now I have it on a tripod, just a standard tripod for a camera. You'll see on the back of the unit, it has two holes so that you can put it on screws and then mount it to the wall like that. Another option is it comes with double-sided tape so you can just stick it to the wall because it's not very heavy. Or alternatively, you could actually walk around and just stick this in people's faces. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you could if you want to. So let me bring this a little bit closer. How does this work? We're not going to get too technical, but basically we have two little LEDs here. One of them is shooting out infrared. The other one is receiving. So that is basically a distance sensor. It knows when someone gets close, hey, we need to trigger the temperature sensor, which is this bigger one here, and check their temperature. It has a very big display, has a very noisy beep. This is not for household use. This is really for, you know, high volume commercial use. Now, this was actually given to me for free by a local seller, and I don't really need this. So when I'm finished with this, I'm going to give it to the MMDA. Pricing, it's pretty much in the sweet spot, in my opinion. These are going for around 7,000, 7,500. If you compare that to a generic handheld scanner which sells for around 1500 to 2000 yes, it's more expensive. But if you compare it to a thermal camera system which could cost, I don't know, maybe 200000 or even much higher, then suddenly it seems much more affordable. And this is much faster. Look at this. Imagine those are people coming up and checking each other one by one. If you've ever used one of these handhelds, you'll know how slow they can be. And sometimes they just won't trigger. I don't know why, but I've tried many of these and they're not really suitable for a mass temperature checking. They're okay for one or two people, but if you're checking hundreds, thousands of people, it's just not the right tool for the job. Now, I apologize if you hear background noise, but it is raining quite heavily. So how do you power this thing? You may notice that right now there's no wires attached, but it still works 36.4 degrees Celsius. Well, you can put an 18650 battery inside or, or you can run it from micro USB, which just plugs in the bottom here. So if you want to run it for a very long time, you know, weeks, months, years, you're gonna to wanna to plug it into the wall with a USB adapter. But if it's just short term or you want backup against power outages, then you install an 18650 battery inside of this. To install the battery, you have to remove three screws. You take off the back and then you can see inside. There's really not too much to see, but that's the 18650 battery that I put in there. It doesn't come with one. You have to add one yourself. So you see the main circuit board here and then some wires going up to the infrared distance sensor, the power switch and the thermometer itself. By the way, sorry if I'm sweating, but it's so, so hot in here. And that actually reminds me, let me tell you something about these and these that a lot of people forget. So the temperature in this room is 32.3 degrees Celsius and our humidity is around 74%. Why is that important? Well, if you read the manual, it will say, when changing the operating environment, the device must be left to stand for more than 30 minutes. The reason for that is both of these need to have an idea of the ambient temperature before they can accurately read your skin temperature. So if you're taking these indoors, outdoors, aircon under the sun rapidly, they're not gonna be accurate because they don't have any time to stabilize. So that's a very important thing. And that also reminds me of another point. We are not measuring 
body temperature with this we're measuring skin temperature so that's why you might say hey that temperature reading shouldn't be considered a fever but remember it's different rules because we're reading skin temperature not body temperature if I put this on my tongue we'll get the body temperature that took a very long time 36.7 the camera won't be able to zoom in on that whereas if we use this one 36.4 so there's a difference between your body temperature and your skin temperature you have to remember that now you might be thinking if you mount this too high someone who's short they're not going to be able to use it right they're not going to be able to reach so what I would say is just to put it a little bit lower because someone who's taller can easily crouch down like that so it's very simple just put it lower instead of higher I don't think that's going to be a concern for anybody and worst case scenario you could actually use this as a handheld unit for example let's say you have someone in a wheelchair and they can't use this it's inaccessible because of the height or they can't get their chair close enough well you could always take this down and manually use it or you have a backup a handheld unit like this so there might still be a use for these I'm not saying they're useless but if you want to check a lot of people very quickly this seems to be a much better system we'll use a hairdryer to simulate a high temperature a fever so a lot of beeping a lot of flashing for sure it's going to get someone's attention that's when you tell the person hey we think you have a fever we need to do this this and this depending on your protocols and uh, yeah it's pretty simple but it works really well in my experience in my limited testing and of course one of the big questions is how accurate is the sensor it says in the manual plus or minus 0.2 degrees celsius so potentially very accurate but I don't have any way to like test it to make sure that it really is absolutely accurate but that's the same with these handheld units how do you really test how accurate they are you need some good equipment to be able to do it properly especially because you have to consider the emonicity of skin and things like that the distance but uh yeah I mean in my limited testing and comparing it to other thermometers that I have it seems pretty much the same if you look on the back of the unit it does have some certification marks but as far as I can tell those are more about the type of material used to make sure it doesn't have any banned substances and things like that I don't think it's so much about the accuracy of the device itself another thing you'll notice is a small hole here if you look inside the case there's actually a little push button and that's how you change the modes on this you can poke through a paper clip and hit that button so if I press that button just once you'll see it's now turned to Fahrenheit so if you don't like centigrade you can have Fahrenheit if I press it again back to Celsius or centigrade if I hold that button down you'll see it says COU it is now acting as a counter would you really want to use it as a counter I'm not sure but it can do it up to 999 because that's the maximum that the display can show if we hold down the button again it says SUR that means it's now measuring surface temperature so again I don't know why you'd want to do this but if you wanted to measure say the temperature of a wall or I really can't think what you're going to measure but if you wanted to measure surfaces a table a desk something like that then you'd put it in this mode because the emonicity of skin human skin and those other surfaces is different so that's why you get very different reading see how it says 34.6 if we put it back into body mode BOD you see it now measures 36.5 that's because the emonicity of the skin is different and that's why you can't buy a infrared thermometer that's designed for hardware jobs and then use it on human bodies because it's not tuned for the body and that's why there have been so many warnings saying hey you're using this one that's for construction you need one which is designed for human skin so uh, this can do both modes I don't know why you'd want to do that but it can do it so I think that pretty much sums up my review of the K3 forehead thermometer it's fast it's simple it has a big display it has a loud beep 
and I think personally in my opinion it's safer than having a security guard stand there and measure every single person individually because you're putting him at risk by having him interacting with so many people so if you have any questions put it in the comments section and I will try to help the rain is super loud humidity is high temperature is high it's a little bit challenging to shoot under these conditions but hopefully you enjoyed the video thanks for watching